Welcome back, fellow nerds of the internet. My name is SkyFi, and today I'm going to be playing a game called Oregon Trail Director's Cut. It is a retro zombie survival game that parodies the educational game series The Oregon Trail. It was initially released as a free Adobe Flash based browser game and later as a Facebook app. This version was developed by Ben Perez, Michael Block, and Ryan Weimer. The game uses the Unity game engine. It was developed and published by the men who wear many hats. An expanded version, the Oregon Trail Director's Cut, was released on mobile devices in August 2012. That same month, the Director's Cut was also posted on Steam Greenlight after receiving enough support. In the Oregon Trail, Players must cross the post-apocalyptic United States in a car in order to reach a sanctuary free of zombies called Safe Haven. Players must manage their limited resources, including food, ammunition, medicine, scrap, money, and fuel for their vehicle in order to complete their journey and keep everyone in their party alive and healthy. Okay. Campaign. Explain difficulty. The difficulty you pick will determine the amount of supplies you can scavenge at the start of your journey. Difficulty also affects enemy speed, landmark distances, and event occurrence rates. You are rewarded for choosing a higher difficulty with the score modifier at the end. Personally, I like to start with the easiest difficulty and then work my way up from there. So I'm going to go with easy. The dude, okay, so now it's time to pick our guy. Yeah, this guy almost looks like Lewis from Left 4 Dead. I kinda like that. We're gonna, we're gonna go with them. Click on the enemy and draw a line towards yourself to shoot. I can't aim where the shit here, go. Oh no! What am I gonna do about that? I'm out of ammo. Is that Clements? I like how he just came in and just messed everything up instantly. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name's Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? My name is Soup McNoodle. Don't ever forget it. Pleasure's all mine, Soup McNoodle. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we can count on in a pinch? Hell yeah. Okay, so now we gotta pick our party's names here. Tip Bumberson, Durf Umber, Blimbo McCurr, Bredson. Are these correct names? Yes. Where's the yes button? Oh, okay. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they'll be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're gonna need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Use WASD or arrow keys to move. Bah! Oh man, I'm definitely gonna have to get used to this. Practice moving and shooting. Hiya! Get along, little station wagon! Alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road! I'll drive! Alright, Clements, click anywhere to continue. Bop! It's just good old Soup McNoodle and Clements. Clements has broken an arm already. Clements, why? What's going on, bro? Clements has dysentery already? <laughs> what just happened? Clements! No! No! 
Lemons was bitten by a zombie and we're out of fuel already. You're out of fuel. Are you kidding me? Washington, D.C. Just look at the D. I love this. Look at this. Look at this loading screen. That bus is back there crashing the building. What is that? A seagull poking its head out? I don't even know. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. But you're bitten, my guy, no! Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. Should help you decide what you think we may need on our trip. Pick the supplies you want to gather. 18 hours remaining. Well, from... We're gonna go ahead and read all these. Fuel! You can travel for four hours on a tank of gas. I find that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any given time so that you can make it to your next destination. And even then, these suckers seem to get lost or stolen all the time. Med kits. Sometimes you just need a good old fashioned med kit. They always seem to perk someone up when they are feeling down. I've seen a guy with a broken arm say he felt at least 30% better after I patched him up with one of these bad boys. Always a good idea to have a handful of these around for emergencies. Money. Although most traders on the road don't find much value in paper money, there are still little pockets of civilization who cling to the old ways. I'd keep a few hundred on me at any time so I can buy what I need when times get rough. But those merchants really have a funny sense of value for the end times. You should be able to find money while scavenging. Yeah, leave it to having a post-apocalyptic wasteland for people still to cling on to fucking money. Scrap. You will need to scavenge for scrap if your car breaks down. You can make some general repairs to your vehicle with all the scrap lying around. The more you have, the better chance it will stick. I usually just get repairs at the auto shops myself. It's pricey, but I'm no good with my hands. Food. Scavenging is the easiest way to get food, other than all the zombies. Depending on the number of people in your group and how you ration how you ration your food, you will burn through your food at a rate of one to three ounces per person per hour. That means you would be eating an average of 240 ounces a day in a group of five. Ammo. The world was gonna shit. It's a great thing that America loves its guns because I can't ever seem to kill enough of these zombie bastards. You'd be surprised how quick, quickly you burn through them. I've easily gone through a few dozen rounds just scavenging for food. And if you ever find yourself surrounded, you better be packing. Car parts. It's always good to have some spare parts on you. You don't want to break down in the middle of nowhere and stand around waiting for someone who wants to trade whatever you got for what you need. I always carry a few extra batteries, tires, and mufflers on me. Don't leave home without them. Okay, I know right off the bat, we're gonna need some uh, ammo. We're gonna need some fuel. Money, food most definitely, a tire, a muffler, med kits, battery. Um, maybe some more food. I, you know, I'll just get more money, honestly. I'll start out with a hundred bucks. Let's get some more fuel and some more food. Yeah, I'm good with that. Your friends join the party. Hey, we got a dog. Where'd the dog come from? Great, hey, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well. And I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. 
Clements, no! <laughs> no! I don't want to kill you. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clements. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to stop real quick, though. Bread said, I stopped the, I like how we just took off, and Bred Bredson already broke a rib, for what? Somebody just hit him in the fucking ribs in the car? So you have four options every time that you stop your car. You can rest, which is what we're gonna do. The only thing that it does is it um, uses up some food. So it's four o'clock, zombie activity is medium. Meaning, if I wanted to go out here and supply, because I can go out here and scavenge, trade, ration. I can go out here and scavenge. But it tells me the zombie activity is medium, and I prefer it to either be, at, you know, less than medium or medium. You know, I'm, I'm good. Okay, so you have the option to kill one of your survivors if need be. I'm going to try and save everybody. So we're gonna sit here and rest. So Bredson, I'm not gonna waste a med kit. That'd be a waste. If you rest, they'll automatically heal themselves over time. The only person who can't regenerate health over time would be me, Soup McNoodle. We're gonna rest until Bredson's good. He's gonna get full health and then we're out. Come on, one more Bredson. All right, stop, done. Zombie activity is high. Car. We don't need to do anything, so we're gonna go. <clears throat> da na 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 da na da 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 da. Driving and driving and driving along. Driving down the road. Someone in the distance is shooting at you. You hear a bullet hit the car. Great, you son of a bitch. You just hurt my station wagon. Bandit shoots, uh, what? Bandit shoots out one of your tires and drives off, dick. You replace it from your supplies. Blembo, come on. Der Funber makes small talk. Yeah, what are we talking about? Hey, we're in Pittsburgh. All right, so we're at our first town. Let's see what's in the auto shop. Hey, he's got an upgrade, no doubt. No slowdown during sandstorms. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how far we are away from the desert, but you know what? I'm gonna buy that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fix shit myself. Oh, almost. Okay. We got six scrap left. I'm gonna save that for now. Okay, well, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and rest up here for a bit so everybody can get their health back up to par. Zombie activity's low, hold the phone. We're gonna go ahead and scavenge real quick. Oh, well, 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 this is the real question here. I do like the shotgun, but it uses up more ammo. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll go with the rifle, it's fine. Oh my lord. All right. Alright, so we got some food, we got some money. That looks like more money to me. I'm not gonna waste my bullets if I don't have to. We got some duct tape. Get away from me. Get away from me! Can't you see I'm trying to scavenge? Nice. Got 100 ounces of food while scavenging. We also found $55.15 scrap.
Very nice. Good, good, good. We're good on just about everything, except I could, I would honestly be comfortable with maybe one more tire. While the zombie activity is low, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep scavenging for a bit because we are going to need all of this jazz. Oh, I didn't get the money. Oh, ho, ho. go, 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 go. Oh man, there's bullets up there. Top left. I want those. I want those! Give me the bullets! Go! Oh, I was so close. 40 ounces of food and 100 bucks. Nice. So we're at $240. We're really good on food right now. Zombie activity is still low. We're going to go ahead and do it again. What is this? Are these bullets? I don't know. That was something, though. More food, we can always use more food. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, 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 that was close. I think those are bullets. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, that was actually food. 145 ounces of food while scavenging. We're up to 830. Uh, I mean, this game is really all about resource management. Station wagon's all right. You know what? I've got, I've got it. I got enough scrap, might as well, before we leave town. Oh! Four in a row, baby. Who needs a mechanic? Not Blimbo McCurr. Okay, so how are we doing? Let's see if there's anybody. Did you hear the radio broadcast today? They say some folks start for safe haven without carrying spare parts. Not, e not even an extra battery. Must think they grow on trees. Hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned car. I don't know what's up with the animals. I never find them when I go hunting, but sometimes I think I see dogs or something in the distance behaving oddly. Don't forget to set your pace and rations to a reasonable amount. Don't push yourself too hard, stranger. I don't know how we keep breaking our legs in this damn car. Does this happen to you? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Maybe they're having an aggressive footsie fight in the back seat. Okay, um, we're out. Oh, frickin' bum cheeks. <sighs> you must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently moderate in size and appears to be docile. Moderate? Hell yeah. Can we just... Mm, see, I don't want to wait. Because the longer you wait, the more the horde has in order to gain in size. And they're docile right now. That would be absolutely great. This would be a good time. But the question is, you know, we're, we're going to break out guns and clear a path. No! <clears throat> Overrun, that just didn't seem like that many. Okay, we lost two fuel. 200 miles to go until our next destination. Okay, we're gonna... Zombie activity is medium. Find a fuel can at an abandoned gas station. Boy, howdy. That's nice. Zombie activity is high. You swerve to miss a squirrel and get stuck in a ditch. Well, damn, squirrel. Shouldn't have been hogging up the road. Trying to get to the mall. A oh, Paco. Hey, there's a freaking Left for Dead reference. Left to die. The mall. This looks... Yeah. Okay. Yep. This is a mall. I love this. Look at this 8-bit retro zombie screen. That's great. Alright. So we're at our next destination. Good job, guys. We made it. Not too many. Not too bad casualties. Everybody's health is alright. Never use your med kits on your other characters. 
Susumu McNoodle is my main character, and as you can see, his health is not going down at all. And it's because his health doesn't go down while driving in the car. His health will go down if I'm out scavenging and I get overrun by zombies or a zombie hits me. Then it'll go down. So I save the medkits for myself. Unless these guys are desperate and absolutely need one, I rest until their health is fully full and then I'm good to go. So we're going to see what we got here. Hey, there's a combat trainer here. A grizzled stranger beckons you to a dark corner and offers to teach you some useful techniques for $80. Bullets travel 50% faster. Don't ask why. Faster bullets? I guess that's alright. Bandits. There are a couple of troublemakers who have been stealing from us. Dispose of them. Normal difficulty. $6? It's a large number of zombies just outside my home. Please come and eradicate them. Difficulty dangerous. $28. I don't know about either one of these. You know, I might just do this, and they also give me some ammo, so why not? Might as well. We'll do our first job. It's normal. So we're going to go ahead and get a rifle. So we got one up here. One, two. Okay, he's dead. Got him. Oh, I missed. Hell yeah. All right, boys. We survived the attack. Good job, nerds. Good job. We earned a whole $6 from that. $6 in ammo. I'm pretty sure that I wasted. Okay. Zombie activity is high. Will not scavenge right now. So we're going to talk to... The Brotherhood are the mortal enemies of the military. I would not hesitate to kill any of the Brotherhood I met. But I have never killed a government man. All I ask from the military is to leave me alone. And to leave my family alone. A great way to earn supplies is to look at the job boards in towns. But be careful of those suicide missions. They don't call them that for nothing. My family couldn't scavenge enough food when we left. We have been eating very small rations since the East Coast. Because of that, our health is poor. My sister has mountain fever, so we're stopped here for a while. Once an infected person becomes incapacitated, it's only a matter of time before they turn. Normally, you would just shoot them or leave them behind, but I hear there are some nut jobs in Safe Haven that pay out the ear for half-dead infected. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rest. I hope in the next town I can find another auto shop where I can buy a nice another upgrade for the car. That'd be great. So like every every time you go to leave and you drive, oh oh we're gonna go ahead and stop. I'm wasting supplies. Every time you go to leave, you always encounter ran you always encounter random encounters. There's a lot of random encounters in this game to come across. You suddenly stop. You, you, you stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. Seriously? Wow, dude. 97 miles. Zombie activity is low. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here real quick. You see the remains of another party before you. Would you like to stop and take a look? Yes. When it brains, it gores, and he forgot his umbrella. Oh, shit, it's a zombie. We're gonna have to kill it. Maybe? Alright. Get out of here, son! Okay. So we stopped. We're gonna fix up the car a little bit. Because I do not want to put it in an auto shop because that'd cost a lot more money. I'd rather just do it myself. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use four more. Three, two, one. Get them wrenches ready. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Didn't miss a single one. All right, car is fully repaired. My boy Soup looks like he actually needs to... Yeah, I don't think resting affects my guy. Pretty sure I need a med kit for him. Talk to stranger. We can't afford mercenaries. We're making our car into a tank. We'll cover up the windows, shoot from the roof, and drive through the mass. Hope we can make it while the horde is calm enough. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing too, lady. They were docile, and they were low in activity, and I still didn't fucking make through. I lost two fuel. Two! All right, zombie activity is medium. Can we get that? Should I go ahead and risk it for the biscuit and try and go in for medium, or should I wait until it's low? Fuck it, I'm gonna go in, and we're gonna use a damn shotgun this time. Okay. Leave me alone, zombie boys. Hold down, hold down, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, get that food! Woo! 215 ounces of food and 30 scrap. Nice. Look at all that food now. We're back up. Food, that's what we need, baby. We need more food. We're gonna go back out. I'm gonna go back out with a shotgun again. I like to have a lot of supplies. I mean, y'all y'all see how much it's draining me every time here. Oh, they got all three in one shot. Let's go. Come on, baby. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, ha, ha, come on. Woo! 40 ounces of food, 25 scrap. Um, I thought I got some bullets that time, but I guess it's scrap. I don't even know. 76 scrap. Damn, boy, howdy. Look at that. Kind of wish I was getting more money, though. That'd be nice. I'm going to go back out here once more for a shotgun. I think this is scrap. I thought it was bullets, but I guess not. Some food over here. Bah! Some more scrap. Bah! More food! I see you down there! Come on, come on, come on, baby. Ah. Okay, 215 ounces of food, 40 scrap, that was good. 1,042 food, woohoo! And it's low activity right now? I'm about to go back out here once more with a rifle this time, okay. I'm pretty sure you can pick up the shopping cart, I'm pretty sure that's scrap, it is. We're just finding scrap out the wazoo, if only I could find some more, um... Money, that would be great. I missed. Hey, money! Asking ye shall receive. More money, yes. Three hundred and ninety ounces of food. Wait a minute. 390 ounces of food while scavenging, but you were only able to carry 250 ounces back, and I found five bucks. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm pretty sure you're only able to carry 250 ounces of food at a time. Every time you go out on a scavenging run. I kind of want to stay here for a minute. The zombie activity is low. I mean, I know I'm good on the supplies, but yeah, I mean, 
No amount of supplies is good enough. You always need more supplies because you never know what the hell is going to happen in this game. We got 1,727 food. Wow. Ain't nobody going to starve in Soup McNoodle's party today. No, no, no. Bredson, Blimbo, Tim Bumberson, and Durf Umber. Y'all are going to have some food tonight. I promise you. We're going to get some rest. And then we're gonna continue on our journey to the next city. And on to the next city, we got seven miles. It's right here, everybody. The grim scenery depresses everyone. Yeah, <laughs> this would depress me too. Look at Indianapolis, my goodness. All right, so we're in our next major city. That means we have an auto shop. Oh, what is that, guys? Buy upgrades. Muffler never needs replacing. Oh yeah? I'm gonna buy that. Right, trade. Let's go see if we can't find anybody else. I want money. Y'all give me some money. 70 food for three fuel. No, I need I need the fuel man. Sorry. One battery for two of their med kits. Hell yeah, I always encounter people who want med kits, so that's good. I'll get another battery. You mean someone who will spare one tire for 33 of your ammo. Fuck out of here. I need ammo and I need money. That's what I need. Counter nobody. Counter nobody. That's right, once one tire for one muffler. I don't need to replace my muffler anymore, so at this point, mufflers are null and void. I need my tires more than anything at this point. Out. 212 miles to the next destination. Blimbo McCurr makes small talk. How's everybody doing today? You aren't sure which way to go. You lose an hour bickering with Durfumber. God damn it, Durfumber. I told you it was back... It was left. We had to go left. You went right. You told us to go right. Your tire broke, but you were able to replace it from your supply. See, you're damn right. You're damn right I was able to replace my tire. How many miles we got left? 77 miles? You spend some time cleaning guts out of the car. Who? Who? Who the hell got guts all over in the car, guys? Tip Bomberson, was it you? You see an explosion in the distance. Was it the farm? I don't want to jinx myself. Ah, see, I knew it. I'm glad I didn't say anything. Actually, I just about did. The farmland. Wow, look at that car. Just freaking smash right into that tree. Look at that mouth. There you got a pretty mouth. All right, combat trainer. Take 20% less damage from losing a combat. Ooh, I want that, but I need 80 bucks. Hold on now. Med kits are going for 11 bucks. Hold on, actually, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Deadly? Uh-uh, I can't scavenge in this bullshit. Jobs, what do we got? One muffler, 21 bucks for a suicide mission? Out of here, nope. Uh, $12 for one scrap. Hell yes. I need money. That was perfect. Thank you. Survivor has one muffler for 41 ammo. No thanks. I don't need a muffler. Keep waiting. I need money. $24 for 57 food. Yes. Done. Now combat training. Town. Combat trainer. Yes. Now we got body armor. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and use a med kit on myself because I'm tired of looking at that. Party rest. Y'all rest. Go and get some sleep, Bredson. Good night, Bredson. Good night, Blimbo. Good night, Tim Bumberson. And good night, Durfumber. All right. Zombies are medium. We're gonna go on a supply run. Uh, rifle. That looks like bullets. I'm pretty sure it's bullets. I don't even know anymore. 
Maybe it's money. Who knows? But I guess not, guys. Okay. Oh, well, see, I, I guess I got enough food anyways. See, that thing looked like bullets, but it's not bullets. I don't understand. All right, everybody's all rested up. We're done. Everybody's chilling by the campfire. And I think this is going to be a good place to leave off for this episode. So with that, nerds, thanks for being here today to enjoy yet another daring adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to catch more upcoming content. And until next time, nerds, stay weird. <laughs>